Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Easter concert tonight. I'm glad you're able to join with us. And this is a special concert. It's going to be uh, put toward helping a homeless shelter here in Portage of Prairie, Manitoba. Uh, my daughter-in-law works there, and the church has supported this in the past. And it's for Rest a Bit Homeless Shelter. And we're actually putting on our church Facebook page, Sydney Breath of Life Church, an opportunity for you to... Um, an opportunity for you to give an offering by uh, PayPal or e-transfer. And you can see that up on the page. And we'll just give little reminders throughout this evening. But we're having the McLarens sing with us, for us. And they did just a wonderful job last year when we did the same thing at Easter time. And it's just so wonderful to be able to do this again. And this is so special because... Of course, this is Resurrection Sunday. Hey, I'm in the tomb. <laughs> I'm in the empty tomb. And there you can see a picture of where Jesus Christ had hung on that cross. But he's alive now and the tomb is empty and the stones rolled away. So we're so thankful to the Lord right now for the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And thinking of what we're going through now, we've got a quarantine happening all over the world. This is quite a fearful time for a lot of people. But right in the middle of it all, isn't it wonderful? Right in the middle of it all, we've got this hope of the kind of faith that God gives us in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And in the darkest of times, when they crucified our Savior, we've got salvation that erupted and exploded out of that old tomb 2,000 years ago. And today is the day almost 2,000 years ago, when that victory of victories took place. Jesus Christ is now King of kings and Lord of lords. He took the last enemy, man's biggest enemy, death, and defeated him. And through the millennia, through the centuries, soul after soul, one soul at a time, has, has erupted into an innumerable company of people. And you believe the word of God like I do, we're going to see every one of them again one day. And we're going to make it through this. And, and we hope that this time of being together with this concert would also bless you in this hard time. We're getting through this. We're going to make it on the other side. And just like this weekend where Jesus was buried into that tomb and, and it looked like all hope was gone. Even the disciples to whom he told them again and again and again, I'm going to rise the third day. Forgot all about it. It's like they, they weren't grasping it. But then Sunday morning came, the resurrection morn. The stone was rolled away. Jesus Christ came forth and praise God. That's the kind of hope that God gives us right now. And I believe you'll feel his presence as the McLarens sing and worship God with, for us. And uh, I just pray that this is a blessing to your soul. It's been such a blessing to me. And we're just going to believe God right now. And let's let them take over and... Let me just get everything ready here and get this all set up for you to enjoy them. And they're such gifted couple, been such a blessing to our church. And we just hope that you would bless the kingdom of God in return. The Bible says that when you give to the poor, you're lending to the Lord and he will repay. Can you imagine lending to somebody knowing they're going to repay you. And we're talking about God here. God will repay you. So that's what this is for tonight. But most of all, to celebrate the kingdom of God and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God bless you tonight as the McLarens bless us with singing. To the garden where he prayed Jesus was arrested by the ones he came to save Swords and clubs and angry words were coming from all sides Jesus only saw the broken hearts of his accusers that night Sing this. 
I'd find no fault in this man. Still the crowd cried, crucify, and would not understand. Pilate washed his hands, and then he said, Barabbas free. Jesus was their only hope, but they For testimonies in the service When a saint amidst the battle She began to speak She testified of ups and downs And battles won And 
battles lost But the thing that I remember most Is when she talked about the cross If it wasn't for the cross Where would I be? If it wasn't for the blood That he shed on Calvary If it wasn't for God's grace And his love for all that's lost This world would have no Testimony brought me back to where I got saved, and I realized the sacrifice and the price he paid with love and great compassion showed what love he gave, what life he lost, everything changed that day. When the Savior chose the cross If it wasn't for the cross Where would I be? If it wasn't for the blood That he shed on Calvary If it wasn't for God's grace And his love for all that's lost this world would have no hope if it was the cross high upon Golgotha's hill Jesus died for me once I was chained by sin the cross set me free, yes I'm free, if it wasn't for the cross, where would I be, if it wasn't for the blood that he shed on Calvary, if it wasn't for God's grace and his love for all that's lost, this world would have no hope if it wasn't for the
broken and bruised from the choices you've made. And sin has a price, and so often you've paid. Oh, but Jesus.
Isn't that awesome? We're halfway through tonight. We're not done yet, but uh, we're so thankful for this evening and you choosing to be with us here tonight. And this is just a special time and, and we're thankful and grateful to just be able to fellowship like this despite what's happening with the quarantine issue. And you know, as well as I do, how it's harder right now then we've had it. Uh, there's people now that, what, this is our third week running a church service through the internet without getting together. And I, I don't know if it was that or what it might have been, but then I thought as soon as we opened this tonight, I just had tears start to come to my eyes. And I think a lot of people have been praying for this. Uh, we want to get this abroad so much you know the hurt that's out there that's happening right now in the world. You know what is happening with people's fear and so forth. And and you look all over social media and, and there's all of these posts and attempts of trying to explain what's happening and why is this going on? Is the government, the world holding something back from us or something else going on? And you know, when you look all past that and through it all, you realize the point is that we're in a world that needs Jesus Christ desperately. And we need the love of God to shine through so powerfully. And right in the middle of all of this, we've got an opportunity to let our light shine. And Jesus is that light. And I was thinking as we were opening and the tears started coming to my eyes and, and realizing that 
I felt the Lord say to me, a lot of people have prayed for tonight. The, the McLarens, we've been praying for them and our church has been praying and sharing this note to get people to watch this. So I believe that through this, God is reaching through and trying to touch all of you. And I believe you're going to be able to feel what I'm talking about as, as we continue with these folks and they continue to sing. But as we mentioned, let me just put this screen over for you to see. We're doing this for Rest a Bit Homeless Shelter. And this is an opportunity for us to give and help something out and, and do good in this world. The Bible talks about how that we can say we've got faith and we can say that, you know, God bless you. But when somebody's in need of a coat and all you do is say, God bless you and I hope you get a jacket. He said, that's faith without works and it's dead. But he said, you show me your faith without your works and I'll show you my faith by my works. And Paul or James rather talked about giving, actually doing something. So we're asking you if you'll help us out, you'll get a tax deductible receipt. If you're in Canada, I wish we could help our brothers and sisters in the States like this, but with uh, taxation and so forth the way it is, you can give through PayPal or e-transfer to SBOL Church at gmail.com. Sydney Breath of Life Church, SBOL Church. That would be really wonderful. Well, we want to go back and have the McLarens come on again tonight. And it's just, again, such a wonderful blessing to have them help us like this and just to be the blessing that they are. And you know as well as I do, especially after tonight so far, that they've got an anointing of God on them. And, and we appreciate that so much. They've been such a blessing to the body of Christ. Uh, they've been doing a lot of this lately themselves for other churches even. And I think Pastor Regic is here. And they've been helping him out in his Sunday meetings as well with music and singing. But I hope this is a blessing to you. Here I go again. <laughs> it just feels so good to get together like this. And we're going to have a time of celebration and worship. When we get together, we're going to shout the roof off the church building. But right now, church never was about a building. Look at what A.W. Tozer said. Keep a Christian from entering the church sanctuary and you have not in the least bit hindered his worship. We carry our sanctuary with us. We never leave it. And so that's so true. And let's go back and have the McLarens continue with us again. And they're going to start out with the next song, That's When God Steps In. So the Lord bless them, and God bless you with them. When there's nothing but trouble on every so dark, I can't remember the light. I pray to find an answer, but there's no way out when I've seen the worst in my world.
He puts all things in place. That's when God steps in over and over again. When it looks like that all hope is gone in my life. That's when God steps in. When I've reached the end, He finds a new way for me.
place but I'm not here to stay I'm just a pilgrim passing through but I'll keep traveling till the time that I make his home by this world can't keep the stream from coming true This world's glory for the one that's waiting for me. I would miss heaven for the world. Someday when I get to my home, I'll stand before the throne and join his children in a song. We'll sing about his amazing grace, how sweet to sing it to his face. Heaven is the place where I belong. I would miss heaven for the world. A mansion waits for me inside those gates of pearl. I'm glad we trade this world's glory for the one that's waiting for me. Good book say it started when 
when my Jesus, he took my sins away. Yeah, yeah, it's mine, oh mine. Oh, it's mine, oh mine. Love is free, it's all for me, and it's mine, oh mine. Oh, the greatest things in life are free, the good book said. It started when my Jesus, he took my sins away, and it's mine, oh mine. Yes, it's mine, oh mine. Love is free, it's all for me, and it's mine, oh mine. Yeah, yeah, it's mine, oh mine. Oh, it's mine, oh mine. Love is free, it's all for me, and it's mine, oh mine. It's all mine. His mercy, it's all mine. His love, it's all mine. His grace is all mine. His mercy is all mine. And His peace is all Even with our differences 
Jesus, there's a place we're all connected. Each of us can find each other's light. Wasn't that beautiful? Wow. God is so good. And I want to read some scripture in closing. And I just thank God for the world that Jesus came to die for because of the blessing that we have in this world, solely because of Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, we wouldn't have this joy. I'm, I'm feeling the presence of God now. I'm feeling his spirit. And I think it's doubly blessing to the Lord that we're doing this tonight, trying to help and trying to do something. And, and Jesus would have us touch. He said, if you've done it to the least of these, my brethren, you've done it unto me. That's why he gave his life. And he told us, his followers and his children, to be like him. And I want to read these scriptures on the screen about the resurrection of Jesus. And I want to end off with another scripture after this, just to send off this note before we close. In John chapter 20, verse 11, the Bible says, Mary stood without at the sepulcher weeping. And as she wept, as she wept, she stooped down and looked into the sepulcher. And see two angels in white sitting, the one at the head and the other at the feet, where the body of Jesus had lain. And they say unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? And she saith unto them, Because they have taken away my Lord. I know not where they've laid him. And when she had said thus, she turned herself back and saw Jesus standing and knew not that it was Jesus. And Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She, supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou have borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. And watch this. When you hear Jesus call your name, you're going to realize he's not just somebody else, not just a casual bystander. Jesus saith unto her, Mary. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabboni, which is to say, Master. And he was ready at that very moment to go into glory. And she, I imagine, was ready to leap and wrap her arms around him and embrace him. And that's why Jesus said, touch me not. I'm not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brethren and say unto them, I ascend unto my father. And notice the way he phrased this. Because folks, because of that death, burial, and resurrection, we can be born again. And he can be our father. And so he said, I ascend unto my father and your father. And to my God and your God. And Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord. And that he had spoken these things unto her. And we read on that the same day at evening, the first day of the week. That's today. 
1,987 years ago to this day, this happened. When the doors were shut where the disciples were assembled for fear of the Jews. And this is particularly applicable right now because there is fear that has gripped a hold of our world. And what the, Jesus said to the Jews, the disciples rather, who were in fear of the Jews, because these were followers of Jesus. They were wondering what was going to happen to them now. Their Lord had been taken away. So Jesus appears, stood in the midst, and saith unto him, Peace be unto you. And we want to speak the word of peace to this whole world. You usually hear at Christmas, joy to the world, peace on earth. But it was through the work of the cross that peace would come to the world. And that's what the angels were singing about at his birth at Bethlehem. Peace to the world, joy to the world, because of what would happen to that baby when he would die on this cross and resurrect again. And here he is, the Prince of Peace, is saying, Peace be unto you. And when he said so, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord, Jesus repeats it again. Then he said to them, A peace be unto you. As my Father has sent me, even so send I you. And when he said this, he breathed on them and saith unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. And folks, notice twice, double over, he said to them, Peace be unto you. And again I say, Peace be unto you. And then he said, now, as my Father sent me, I'm sending you. Do you get the message of what he's trying to tell us? We need to go and speak peace into this world as he did to us. And when he breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Ghost, it was just like God breathing into Adam the breath of life. And Adam became a living soul. And folks, people will come alive when this Spirit of God that's been breathed in us also breathes in them. And that's what this whole message is about. And in the book of Proverbs, in closing, it says in this 19th proverb and in the 17th verse, He that hath pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given will he pay again. We're doing this tonight for rest of it, homeless shelter. Our church wants to impact our whole region. And this homeless shelter is reaching out and touching souls. And a member of our congregation is involved with this group. And, and they're giving shelter to people. And of course, right now, they're not able to do it. Nobody's. And you know what was kind of hard to hear? Is that their hearts were broken because they had to shut down the shelter in a time like this when fear is gripping people's hearts. So I want you to pray with me. And, and again, I'll just mention that this one last time. It's not going to me. It's not going to our church. If you could give to sbolchurch at gmail.com, Sydney Breath of Life Church, SBOL Church, through PayPal or e-transfer. It's on our church page. This is blessing and touching this world. It was all about giving back. Jesus let them take his life. And then he would resurrect and give the breath of life to this whole world in a new creation. God breathed into Adam and man was created. But when Jesus breathed into those disciples and said, receive the Holy Ghost, that's a new creation. And we are meant to rise up as God's new living creatures and bless this earth and see the will of God accomplished. So pray with me right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that everyone that gives, that you would multiply that giving. And you love a cheerful giver, your word says. And I believe your word, and people that are watching this believe your word. And I pray, God, on this day, if there's any day this is so suitable, it's this day, that your blessing would come upon and, and help people to give towards this homeless shelter, that when it reopens, they're able to continue as long as they can. Lord, in Jesus' name we pray, bless this giving. Bless and anoint every person and their abilities to, 
to just reach out and do what they can for your kingdom. And Lord, without you, we can do nothing. Thank you so much for the McLarens tonight. Thank you for the congregation of Sydney Breath of Life Church. And thank you, God, for everybody that's watching this. And most of all, thank you for this gift of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to give unto us life and hope in dark times that's helped millions upon millions through hard times through the centuries see a hope at the end of the tunnel. Because Lord, though we walk through the shadow of death, we won't have to fear evil because your rod and your staff comfort us. And we're walking through this shadow now, regardless of what the actual cause is. Well, people split hairs over why. It doesn't matter, Lord. You get the answer for whatever is the reason. And we thank you for it. And we pray peace into this earth, peace into this world. Your, your word says in the Old Testament, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. The city of peace is what Jerusalem means. And, and there's nothing more war-torn and war-ridden than over in the Middle East right now. But we pray peace over there as well. Peace over the whole. Peace unto all men, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to do, Jesus, what you did for us. So God bless you so much. Thanks so much for being with us. This is going to be again online. And uh, we're going to have this for people to share. And there's the information. So please share this. Uh, it might be not live after this point, but I'll guarantee you, I felt enough presence of God right here, right now, that this is going to bless people that watch it. So please share this. And God bless you so much. And may your time through this be kept in protection by the peace of God itself. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen.